and you will be asked to leave the game. We ask that you please be respectful for all those in attendance. At this time, it gives me great pleasure to introduce you to the visiting Greater New Bedford Regional Bears. Number one, junior, Avery Whitson. Freshman, number four, Mateo Pacheco. Senior, number 13, Jordan Sindo Jr. Senior, number two, Reynaldo Trinidad Jr. Senior, number 10, Claudio Ramos. Senior, number 19, Tristan Andrade. Sophomore, number three, Aiden Andrade. Senior, number seven, Caden Suarez. Senior, number five, Brennan Vieira. Senior, number eight, Giovanni Rojas. Junior, number 20, Jack Grusht. And head coach, Henry Almeida. All right, Panthers fans, it's now time to give it up as we introduce your Halston Panthers. Your goalkeeper, senior number one, Quinn Polney. Sophomore, number 15, Brody Corden. Sophomore, number 11, Andrew Granfers. Sophomore, number 35, Alex Roby. Freshman, number 6, Ethan Shahida. Sophomore, number 8, Brian Tabe. Sophomore, number 27, Dylan Woodhouse. Junior captain, number seven, Owen Montalto. Junior captain, number two, Alejandro Cornelio. Senior captain, number 10, Nathan Arujo. And senior captain, number nine, Alex Shahida. With head coach, Jay Dupree. Our officials for today's matchup are Scott Christensen and John Cowles. At this time, I now invite you all to please stand if you are able, remove your caps so that we may honor America with the playing of our national anthem. So hello all and welcome in as we're getting ready here for some Division Three playoffs as we're in the round of 32 as the Greater New Bedford Bears are 9-3-5 coming into today as they come in at the number 17 seed and the Halston Panthers 7-6-3 come in as the number 16 seed just squeaking out that home field advantage. They didn't have the best end to a season dropping three straight to end at Westwood 2-0. Hopkinton and Ashland both won goal games and it was Halston leading, leading in that game against Hopkinton and then suffering and losing out there and then against Ashland they got an equalizer late on in the game but then from a free kick Ashland was able to capitalize and would ultimately win that one 2-1 but it's the playoffs now it's a completely different atmosphere here and it's just about winning this game right now you can't look ahead because without today there's no tomorrow. The Greater New Bedford Vote Tech Bears, they ended their season differently on three straight ties, all at one and one to one, and it was all on the road as well. 
tying Dartmouth and then Dighton Rehoboth. Hopefully I didn't butcher that one. And then New, New Bedford, they also tied one to one as the teams are getting ready to go out as we look. The Panthers last season, they'd win their first round matchup quite easily with a 5-0 victory over Falmouth. They would then go on to face Plymouth North where they would lose in the most devastating fashion you can in playoffs and that was in penalty kicks where it was 1-1 going into that and they'd ultimately end up in ending their season maybe a little earlier than expected. As we look at that roster from last year for the Panthers, a much different team this year. As only one starter from last season's game against Plymouth North, Alex Shahida, remains on this team. So new blood, we'll see how they do early here. And as has been a key with this Panthers team throughout the season, getting up early is definitely a big, big factor in starting out hot. So we'll see how they do. No real big changes for the Panthers here going with their traditional starting lineup here as we look at Greater New Bedford and they have a freshman that serves Mateo Pacheco and I was reading up and that coach Almeida the head coach of the Bears he doesn't traditionally carry freshmen on his team but this year he brought four freshmen on with him including Pacheco who is going to get the start today and has gotten the start throughout so the Bears are going to start with the ball from Greater New Bedford as they look like they're going to push up early and just give the ball away as Woodhouse is going to let that one trickle out. So not quite sure what the tactic was on that one. Normally you see a team play it backwards first so then your players can push up to that far side and load it. But they're going to opt to just give the Panthers a goal kick to start out early here. And Woodhouse is on those duties as he launches one. And that one won there. We'll try and get you the numbers for the Bears as well, though this this gold and white numbers doesn't make it the easiest on me. Well, I'll be doing my best as Shahida will take the throw in on the far side as we've just begun here. It's win or go home. That ball is cleared away there by Grusht. Wasn't quite sure how to pronounce that. I hadn't looked it up. and It's a Polish name and Grusht is what I got, so... That's what I'm rolling with. Throwing on the far side. Grusht heads it off the back of Shahida, and he'll let that roll out. And it'll be a throw in here on the far side for the Bears. Arujo claiming handball, no call given. As they look to possess the ball and push it forward. And getting ahead on that is a bear as he pushes forward. That's Ramos trying to look for it, and now we'll lay it all the way back. Now to Grusht. Back to Ramos. Kicks it out to the left back, Vieira. And that's taken away by Roby. Play down the near side, Suarez. And Cornelio's going to do his best, but kept in there. And just giving it a little toe poke out. That'll be the first throw here for the Bears. As that's in the midfield there to number three, Andrade. That's Aiden Andrade. As his brother Tristan is also on the team, a senior, where he's a sophomore. Foul one by Arujo, and the Panthers will push up. So looking at, when I was watching some film on the Bears team, it looked like they play somewhat of a 4-1-4, one high striker, Trying to allow teams to pass it around the back if they cho so choose to do so. It's Shahida now. As he tries to work one in. It takes a deflection and squeaks out for a corner kick. That came off the leg of Vieira. And so the Panthers with the first corner of the game at 37-15. As they stack up far. And it looks like that's Granfers trotting over onto the keeper, Whitson. It's Arujo taking the corner. He lofts one deep. It's just getting a hand there as Whitson, and it's going to be a corner on the far side. So Arujo taking the corner. I, we've seen Cornelio take them. That one a little more of a lofted one. As of right now, the Panthers are three deep. Around the 40 and 50 marking one gold shirt there, Cornelio and 
Corden and Woodhouse all back. So it's Arujo with the in-swinger now. That one lofted up towards the 18. Uh, Shahida trying to take it down, but kicked away there. And a good step by Cornelio finds Shahida. As he was looking to poke it out wide to Montalto, but unable to do so. Now finds him, and the one-timer from Montalto, unable to get his leg around it. And so that will go on out for a goal kick here for Greater New Bedford. And it looks like it's Grusht who's going to take it. Yes. They do have the option to just play it short, and that's exactly what they're going to do. And now Grusht will try and give it a ride. It's held up in the midfield there by Andrade, but Arujo now trying to poke it through. And that one rolls out, as I think just confused a little bit there on the, the goal line was Grusht as... There are quite a lot, lot of lines here on Comedian Field. You got football, you got lacrosse, you got field hockey, you got soccer, and everything in between. But I guess now he knows where it is. Arusha with the third corner of the game for the Panthers. That one's far post and headed away. And once again, a secondary header as Jahida trying to get the ball back in towards Montalto. And flicked along. Roby with the initial header and pokes it with the outside of the boot. Panthers just trying to settle the ball down as that one's slowly rolling and will go out for a throw-in. It'll be Brennan Vieira, the senior defender, to take it. Looks like he's got the captain armband as well. Corden wins that one to the chest of Arujo. He gets a hand in the back by Andrade. And it'll be a Panthers free kick from around the 45. Cornelio sets up over this one as the Panthers load the far side. 34 left to go in the first half. Ball in far side, and that's flicked away there. Looked like that was Sindo Jr., I believe, on the end of that one for the Bears. And it's going to be a Panthers thrown for the first time deep in the attacking third, which means Ethan Shahida will trot up and give this one a long throw. Panthers have had two goals off this long throw so far this season. That one heading in. It's headed initially. And Shahida's looking to settle it down now. Alex Shahida, that is. And he wins a throw in. And so his brother Ethan will trot all the way up back from the center back position. As he looks to launch another one. This one lined up directly with the six as he looks to throw one in. That's headed away by Sindo Jr. Shahida plays it with the left foot in and headed away. Roby at the top drops it to Montalto. Montalto towards Corden. Corden with the ball in. Sindo Jr. with that one out. And now the Bears look to counter. So that one played all the way up to Trinidad. And he'll win a team of throw in as now the Bears look to push in. Working on the far side, and Shahida will win that one, but it will be a corner as a result for the Bears. As they put two guys over towards it, the Panthers will push two guys up there, and they'll desert that play. As I believe it's Suarez that's going to take it on the far side. First one for the Bears here. That one in, gets all the way through. Trinidad, and that one, not enough power behind it, and Polney's easily able to scoop it on up. Polney gives it a ride, and one there initially. 
by the wing back as Polney's tracking it. And he's good. So they'll look to go at it again here as the big boot up towards midfield. And that one's going to hit no one at first. And Sindo trying to clear it up as he finds Suarez there. And just losing his footing with Shahida as he was trying to take that one down. Roby settles, plays it out wide to Corden. Corden looking for Montalto down the wing. And he's going to keep that one in, plays it in. It's going to spiral out. And that'll be a throw in here for the Panthers. So Shahida once again to take here. The throw in and headed away there. And Cornelio just tries to bump it up a little bit. And Andrade will deal that one all the way out. And it'll be a throw in here for the Panthers. Shahida with the throw. And looks like Vieira heading that one away. And trying to work down this near side wing is Montalto as he's battling out with the opposing captain, Vieira. We'll see, Shahida thought about going short to Corden, but Greater New Bedford reacting to that. The throw in, and it's over a couple heads towards Granfers. Granfers with the strike. We saw he had one of those off a long throw just a couple of games ago, and it was beautifully strike. That one got the good connection to it, but a bear standing right in his way. And now they'll take over on the far side with a throw in. It's Woodhouse chipping it up towards Shahida, beautifully taken down, but a great tackle there and stops him up. I believe that was Grush. It's Corden now with great service towards the back stick, looking for Granfers. It's Montalto. Shahida looks to chest it down. He's not going to get the call. Look like two hands in the back, but not sure you're going to get that penalty call, especially this early in a playoff game. As that ball hit all the way up, Shahida stops it. And now Andrade picks up on the ball. He plays it through to Ramos. Ramos dancing. And a good stick there by Cornelio. And in the game against Ashley, he had a couple great tackles inside the box. It's played up to Shahida. He's got a Rujo running down his side. He looks to flick it through, but instead... Is taken away there by Sindo. And now Granfers has it. And it'll be a Panthers throw in. So a good look there from Shahida trying to find and slot through Arujo. Shahida led the team with four assists on the season. He also had eight goals, which tied him for points on the team with 12. Short throw looking for Alex Shahida, and it's poked away there on the far side by Grusht. And now they'll look to go kind of more medium in the middle as it falls to Arujo, and he's unable to get a clean connection, so easily picked up there by Whitson as he'll push the defense up. That's going to drop and fall right on in. It's Suarez. Now Vieira. Drops it to Ramos. Ramos looking for Suarez. Panthers throw instead. Looks like Panthers are getting ready for their first substitution. Keeney trotting up to the midfield line. And good skill there by Vieira. As he managed to get around, Cornelia whiffs on the initial clearance, but Polney's there to scoop it up. Twenty-eight 
26-30 still left to go as the Panthers play it short to Woodhouse. Woodhouse looking for Shahida, but headed away there by Grush. And settle now on the far side. Panthers throw in. It'll be Keeney coming in. We'll see it's Montalto who will come on out. And Shahida a little too anxious to get play started as Montalto is still trotting off the field. So with Keeney coming in, it looks like he's going in up top and Tabe being pushed out wide. Which seems like then Shahida will drop into the 10 spot with Arujo dropping deeper. Heading towards Keeney as he boxes out and come off Grushed and out for a throw in here for the Panthers again deep in their attacking third. They'll go long, the darted throw off the head of Shahida towards Tabe who settles it down, but unable to get a foot around it. Corden looks to send one in and that's gonna sail over the crossbar and hit the crossbar of the field goal. But a great opportunity there as Tabe just looked to kind of run through it. A defender was there to stop him and unable to get a foot around it, but a good opportunity and probably the best of the day so far from either team as we still sit nil-nil. It's out to Granfers. And he's dispossessed on the far side. Just trying to work out who's on that far side there for the Bears. I believe it might be Braden Leary. Or no, excuse me. As that one's kept in, finally. And now picked up by Andrade. As he pushes through a couple of defenders and Arujo tracking back to help out. And Polney will clear that one away. Only as far as the left back, Vieira. It's picked up by Shahida. As he looks to send Keeney in out for a throw in. So Shahida drops one in looking for Roby and comes out now to Ramos. He's stopped by Arujo. Arujo goes down, but no call there as the ball was won cleanly. Greater New Bedford looks to push up. It's Trinidad. He plays one in the middle, cleared away by Cornelio and out for a throw in. As we're getting a stoppage here. Is it the Panthers? I believe the Panthers are... Someone called timeout. We'll take a quick stoppage here as 23-15 left to go in the first half. 0-0 zero, zero the score. And we bring you back in here at Comedian Field as action between the Holliston Panthers and Greater New Bedford Bears as the 16 and 17 seeds here in the round of 32. We're currently tied at a nil-nil draw with 23-15 left to go in this first half as the Bears will take over on the far side for a throw-in deep in Panthers zone. And they'll play it short now to Ramos. Ramos plays a high lofted ball and Polney, good job raising up and catching that one as he looks to send it out quickly now towards Keeney. 
And that one's going to be won there by Grusht. As the Panthers try and settle things down here, it's now Cornelio who slings one looking for Keeney. He's going to come away with it. It's Keeney looking for options. He's got Tabe. Tabe cuts in towards the left. He's going to strike one and test the keeper for the first time there. Whitson, a good shot on the left foot from Tabe. As Whitson rolls the ball out to the far side. Uh, it comes off the head of a bear and kept in, though. Now looking to swing it, and Roby's there. And looking to switch the field over to Corden. Corden to Roby. And Roby just slips up on top of the ball, and Ramos capitalizes, but Corden doing a good job to get a foot in front of it. A good turn there from Shahida. Gets past another one. The Panthers are streaking down the field. Out towards Tabe. Tabe with the strike in just over the top right corner. Brian Tabe now with two great opportunities. A great play there by Shahida. Staying strong, holding the body, poking it past the left back there, Vieira. And looking to play through to Tabe. Panthers will look to keep this momentum as the goal kick is heading towards the far side and trying to keep it in, and instead it's going to trickle all the way down and out for a deep throw in here for the Panthers. And Shahida will be backed up a little bit. Right around, it looks like, maybe the 15-yard mark. He'll launch one in. And Montokto in just over the goal. And the Panthers wanting a call there. Keeney had two hands on his back. The second time that's happened in the box for the Panthers. There's maybe not enough in it, but... Those two hands on the back consistently from the Bears will surely cause them trouble if it continues. As Keeney will now come on out. And Granfers will come in. So it looks like he's going to slot up top now. They're keeping Montalto on the left wing. A little bit of a different look, but it's been working for the Panthers here in the last 10 minutes so far. Cornelio steps up with a good challenge. And now it's Sindo looking to loft one up there to Suarez. Tabe switching the field to Montalto. He's got acres of spake, but a bear on his back. And wins that one out. It's now Sindo. He plays it to Ramos. <laughs> Ramos continues to run through it, but Corden stands him up. Tabe staying strong. And he's going to get a foul called on him, and it's going to be brought back. I'm, the only call I could imagine that would be called on him there was maybe he was hooking around. But it looked like both players were being quite physical and battling that one out. <clears throat> it's whooshed on this one as he plays it towards the far post. Shahida gets a touch on it and it's going to go out for a corner kick. Maybe some miscommunication there from the Panthers. Uh, if Shahida had just let that one travel over his head, it would have been a goal kick for the Panthers though. Not sure if he Knew if a man was in behind him or not. So instead, it's Greater New Bedford here. As they look to take a corner. Their second of the game. And it'll be Ramos to take this one. Ball in, a good ball. Cornelio gets the initial touch as there's a scrim. And it's still there. And finally, Cornelio with the clearance. As that ball looking to be rifled back in by Sindo, but it got some outside swing, and it'll be a throw in for the Panthers. Shahida now as looking to regain it, and Woodhouse just clears. It'll trickle all the way down, and Whitson will pick it up. That corner kick was very dangerous there by the Bears, as it looked like. It was just bouncing around. Luckily, there was enough 
Panthers in the way to prevent anything going towards goal. Montalto picks up. He's got Tabe looking to make a run. That one lofted high over his head. It's going to travel and roll, and that'll be a goal kick here for Greater New Bedford. Goal kick taken and flicked along there as Cornelio tries to stand up Suarez but unable to do so. It's on the back heel of Woodhouse and a weird deflection and it looks like a penalty call will happen as Polney took out the man as that was just a crazy sequence of events. So stepping up, looks like it's Vieira here with a chance. As just talking with the coach, as they were, it did look like a penalty to me from up here. He did, did not get the ball, the other player did, he took out his legs. But the Panthers coaches voicing their displeasure with no call in the box for them with two hands on the back. Twice it looks like it's happened. But nevertheless, Greater New Bedford here with a chance to take an early 1-0 lead. And he'll put it in the back of the net. And so Vieira puts them up 1-0. So Greater New Bedford now up 1-0, to zero, and it looks like the Panthers are going to take a timeout here, so we'll step away. 15.56 left to go in the first half. Greater New Bedford leads Holliston now 1-0. to zero. And so we bring you back in as the Panthers get ready to kick off that. It's just an unfortunate penalty. It took a couple weird deflections, and Polney was forced to come off his line, and really nothing he could do. But the Bear did beat him to the ball and will get the penalty call. And so now the Panthers are going to look to play from behind here as they've got about just under 16 minutes to look to get an equalizer before the end of the half. It's Woodhouse who launches one up. And headed there by Vieira as it finds Tabe, but just behind him, so unable to do anything. It's Shahida. He pushes up on the near side. He goes goal line, looks to trickle one in, and that's going to take a deflection off of one of the gold jerseys down there, and it's going to be a corner kick as Arujo trots to take it. He's had a couple good balls and dangerous balls that have been played in. Ball played in towards the back post. Montalto looking to come over the top. As now Shahida battling. And that one poked up towards Suarez. And he'll kick it off Corden. And a throw in for Greater New Bedford on the far side. It's Ramos pushing down the wing. He plays one in the middle, looking to slot through to Suarez. There was Botello, and it'll be a goal kick.
It's Keeney coming in for Roby. As now it looks like Tabe will drop into the defensive mid position with Arujo. Shahida in the midfield. Montalto, Keeney, Granfers across the top line. And Corden looks like he's down and needs to come off. But it'll be a quick sub as he's able to get up on his own. And so now Keeney, who just came in, was originally going to be playing striker, instead now be playing one of the defensive spots as Ben Dufault, the freshman, comes on in up top. So Keeney with goal kick duties as he launches that one high. Granfers flicks it along. Both Montalto and Dufault there. It's Woodhouse. He chips one over the top and dealt with there by Grusht. It's now on the near side, it's Botello. He stops up and he'll slot it all the way back. Grusht plays the long cross field ball and headed on out by Woodhouse for throwing for the Bears. That one trying to settle it off the chest, but it's a Panthers throw. They'll look to take it quickly and push up. Dufault flicks it. It hits off the head of Grouch there. Shahida takes over. He's on the far side, pushing just a touch too much there as swept away by Sindo. And a Panthers throw in. Taking quickly into Alex Shahida. He's looking to work the ball. He'll lay it off to Ethan Shahida, who plays a long lofted ball. And nobody challenging in an easy catch there from the keeper, Whitson. A long booted ball towards Botello, who takes it down. Tabe getting a body in front of it, allowing Arujo to take over. Arujo to Granfers. Granfers working that far side. He gets passed down the goal line, looking to play through to Dufault. Takes a couple deflections and then cleared away. Tabe with the shot on the left foot. Uh, enough, not enough behind it, not a clean enough connection. And so a goal kick here. If you look at the game so far based off chances, I mean, the Panthers have really dominated in that aspect. And it's not much for the Bears as they'll take the goal kick quickly, but all that matters is what's on the scoreboard, and that currently reads 1-0 to zero in favor of the Bears. That one kicked on down there by Tristan Andrade on the far side. And headed on out by Rojas. No, it's going to stay in. And a team effort there getting the ball back. Now out wide to the new right back, Keeney. He's going to look to loft one to Montalto, but Vieira's got the height advantage and will head that one out. towards Dufal, and there is the call finally with two hands on the back. They're going to get the call as a good position to maybe not shoot this one, but for Arujo to try and whip one in and try and get any body part on the back of it. We'll try the Panthers here as about 10.38 left to go in this first half as they currently trail. Rujo, he'll have the outswinger here as that one towards the back post. And that's going to get past everyone as Montalto looks to chase to keep it in. He'll do so as he keeps it in and no will be out. And given to the Bears for a throw in. And taken short. And boot it up and a waste on that one as it's out for a throw in for the Panthers. As Dufault will come out and Emmanuel Tabe will check in for the first time here up top. And 
as the long throw headed by Sindo. Arujo trying to settle it. And Cornelio just looking to chip a ball. And ball kind of bouncing around and still not settled. As now Woodhouse flicks it along towards Granfers. And a call for the Panthers, I believe. Yes, it will be as Arujo steps over this one. No, Keeney will come up and take it. Keeney, probably the better option. He's got a more powerful and long driven one. Arujo good with those short balls to pluck out a person. Keeney with three assists on the regular season as he launches this one in. And one initially, now Tabe's there at the top of the box. Just trying to get it back in, but unable to do so. It's Suarez and Tabe. And a good stick there from Tabe to stop the counterattack. And Bears will go to throw in 8.30 left to go in this first half. Tabe just clears it on out. Brian Tabe, that is his brother Emmanuel Tabe, up top now at striker. Ramos lays it back to Grusht, who's looking for Suarez. It's now Batello, taken over by Ramos. Up to Suarez, who ball rolls around one, and then Keeney steps up and kicks that one and out. Now it'll be a throw in here for the Bears. As the goal scorer, Vieira, well, here to take it as he'll play it back towards Grush. Tabe putting pressure. And now the Panthers looking to step up to get the ball, but now they're back in their attacking end, or the Bears, as Ramos lays it on out. And that's Paiva. As Ramos a little slow to get up. Arujo. He's got Mont or Granfers on the far side. Granfers trying to cut in, and he's stopped up there by the center back of New Bedford. And Suarez trying to play in on the far side. And Woodhouse does a good job getting body position and will win his team. No, it's going to be a corner kick, and he's frustrated with that one. Thought he wanted to see him a goal kick instead. Greater New Bedford's going to get another corner. Once again, it'll be Ramos here to take it. Ball in on the ground. And that's going to be a handball call against Greater New Bedford, and so the Panthers will get to take over. Keeney plays a long ball, searching for Montalto. Shahida finds it. Poked out wide, it's Montalto again. Montalto thinking about it, cuts in on the right. Instead, the shot takes a deflection and hit high into the sky as Montalto collides with his own teammate. And now Greater New Bedford takes over as they launch a ball on the far side. That's going to be a wasted one, though, as no one in the vicinity. And Polney will pick it up. Uh, not happy with that one, but the Panthers will come away with it. It's Granfers to Arujo. And he gets fouled up there and no advantage to be played. Panthers will take it over on a free kick from their own 45. It'll be Keeney here to take it as the Panthers push players up. Keeney launches this one high up. There's no one able to get on the end of it. It's now Tabe. Tabe over to his brother Emmanuel Tabe as they play a little pass. And the ball looking to swing it in and it's going to stay in. Granfers takes over 
as he lays it to Woodhouse. Shahida looks to pick it up. Laid it off to Tabe, out wide to Montalto. Montalto on the right foot, thinks about it a couple times. And he'll kick that on off, and it'll be a corner kick here for the Panthers with 4.23 left to go in the first half. Double substitution as looks like Brody Corden's okay. That's good to see as he'll come back into the right back position. Brian Tabe will take a rest as Alex Roby comes back into the game. Once again, it's a Rougeau here to take the kick. Now, what a beautiful ball in just over the heads of a couple players. It falls to Montalto. He shoots, it gets deflected, just unable to get a clean connection. Cornelio stepping up and finally cleared away into the zone as Botello's racing to try and keep it in, and he'll be able to do so. No, he'll be called out. As Arujo will launch down the line, and now Shahida picks it up. Shahida pushing as he cuts back and now goes back to the goal line, puts it in, and he's going to win another corner here for the Panthers. Don't have the exact number, but something along the lines of six corners now for the Panthers. That last one was a beautiful ball from Arujo at the perfect height. Just a couple Panthers jumping too early. The first couple were a little far at the back post is now... They'll crowd around the six-yard box. This ball put in, and that one's just a little too far out, and so easily cleared away. Corden steps up, plays it to Montalto. Montalto with multiple defenders as he tries a roulette around them, and instead will settle for a throw-in. As both the Bears and the Panthers will make a sub, it looks like it's a brother for brother sub as Brian comes in for Emmanuel. And Shahida here to take the throw in as the clock will stop right at three minutes. We'll try and keep you updated on the time as the ball falls in and Tabe trying to get a foot on it, unable to do so. Corden will. That one's high lofted and Whitson able to settle on under it and make the catch. Whitson gives it a big boot. Woodhouse wins that one as it goes almost directly up. Roby with the win on the header. Arujo doing a good job to poke it out wide to Granfers. As he's down and Shahida has the ball. It's now to Tabe. Shahida. Shahida around a couple of them and then just loses it. As he was looking for options or a shot on the right foot. The Panthers wanting a call. But I think advantage was played as they keep possessing. It's now Grand First to Roby. He's got Corden out wide. Corden up to Montalto. And they're going to get the free kick call now. As we're looking at about two minutes left of time to go in this first half. And Cornelio looks like he's going to settle under this one. Normally we see Arujo taking it, but him being a little knocked up might be wise. The ball, a weird bounce as it falls into the box, and Granfer is unable to get a clean connection and make contact. It looked like a knuckleball from Cornelio that just traveled and bounced off of him as Granfer cuts in and cleared away by Sindo, but a knuckleball... Catches the goalie off, off guard, and Granfer is just a little late to react to it to swing a foot around the ball. It's Brian Tabe, and that one away. Suarez with the overhead kick out to Ethan Shahida. It's now Woodhouse. And they're going to get the foul call once again. And it's going to be Cornelio or will it be Woodhouse here? It's going to be Cornelio to take this one as he's going to look to launch one deep in as we're about under a minute left to go in this half. The long ball. It's off the head and no Panther there. And 
Greater New Bedford tries to clear. Corden to Roby to Montalto. Montalto tries to serve it, but unable to swing the hips around it. And it'll be a goal kick. And as time is trickling down, this goal kick might just about do it for the half. As the kick taken, that one's sailing, and Suarez is able to keep it in. It's Granfers. He's pushing, finds Shahida. Shahida to Arujo, looking to play through to Granfers on the far side. That one's going to deflect it into the goalkeeper's hands. As he falls on that one, and, and there's the whistle from the ref, and that's going to do it for the first half. As it comes, a penalty kick, the difference maker. As it was Brennan Vieira, the senior captain for Greater New Bedford, who puts it away. And it'll be 1-0 going in half. We'll be right back in about 10 minutes with the second half.
And we welcome you back in here as we're again ready to start the second half of action here in the round of 32 of MIAA Division Three Soccer between the Greater New Bedford Regional Bears and the Halston Panthers. Right now, the difference maker is a penalty that came with 15.56 left to go in the first half. It was Brennan Vieira, the senior captain for the Bears, that put it away and or have the ability to go back and watch on our live stream. And looking back at that penalty, it did seem like the right call, although there was a pull down earlier for the Panthers that was also revisited by us. Obviously, they don't have the access to see this but it did look like a clear penalty for the Panthers as well but you got to move past it we're getting ready for the second half the Panthers have seemed like they've had the upper hand on shots possession all of those only sat that they're not seeming to lead in right now is goals and so we'll see what they can do here Brian Tabe's had his fair share he doesn't have a goal on the season in fact I think I believe he only has oh he has two assists he had one in that last game against Ashland but he's looked like the biggest threat for the Panthers so far. As we kick off here now, it's Woodhouse. That ball just a little too far, and Arugia will pick it up. As they look to make a difference early here. Playing down the wing for Granfer as it stays in. And that one comes off Arugia. And I'll be a throw in here early in the second half. That'll be Tristan Andrade. Granfers rises up to win that one. Shahida takes a couple juggles as he's taken out on the back heel. And the ref right there able to make the call. Seems like a lot of fouls so far from just little kicks at the leg from the Bears at some point. I don't know if there's been any many re repeat offenders, but at some point you might see a yellow card. That ball towards the back post. Tabe there again. Looking for Montalto, who puts it in and cleared out there by Sindo as Shahida was tracking down on his back. And the Panthers will get a corner kick here just over a minute into the game. It's a Rujo. Heading towards Tabe, headed back. Shahida, he puts it in the back of the net. Oh, as casual as you like it. Shahida looks like he just flicked his stomach out and it trickled in the back of the net and the Panthers are on the board. So that's exactly the response the Panthers wanted as Shahida pressing up early. That one's going to fall into the hands of Whitson. Not sure who got the second to last touch on that one, whether Tabe or someone else, but it's who else but Alex Shahida to put it in the back of the net. And so now we'll see. It looks like the intensity is already picking up in this game, and it'll stay like that at least for the next five minutes as these both teams are pushing for the next goal. Far in the zone, Woodhouse, and he kicks that one out. It'll be a throw-in here for the Bears. It's Andrade. And looking for the flick there is believe Botello and unable to get that one in. So a goal kick here for the Panthers. Woodhouse flicked on by Roby. And Arugia blocking that one. It's now into Shahida. He's got Montalto. He's going to rip one himself. It bounces off the keeper. And no one there to capitalize on the rebound. As now Montalto taking over. 
He goes down in the box, and the Panthers are claiming for a foul and aren't going to get it. And instead, they'll get the call for a corner. It's Arujo here. He takes one, it's heading back post, and no one there except a bear to take it down. As Montalto goes down, and he'll finally get the call he wants. And this one, as that's going to be, let's see how close they move it. That's 25. Add the extra five yards in the end zone onto it. It's going to be about from 30 yards out. We'll see if Arujo likes his chances on this one. And the ref pushes the wall back. Arujo, he's going to play it back post looking for Montalto, headed away by Ramos. It's Roby. Back to Corden. Corden playing it all the way to the other side over to Granfers. Granfers, he cuts in. On the right, he gets taken out and he's going to get the call. And at some point, a yellow card has to come out now. That's now three fouls in a row on Andrade there. And he keeps hacking away at the feet of the Panthers. At some point, this repetitiveness of fouls has to get him a caution. As Shahida and Arujo are both sitting over this one. As it looks like... Tabe and Granfer's having a discussion to stand in front of the ball. It looks like is probably going to be the one to take this. No, they're going to lay it off to Shahida, who drills it into some bears who come running towards the ball. So they were all over that one. As Corden just clears it away, and Whitson will be able to come up with that one. Thirty-four twenty-five left to go in the game. As it's hit far, it's off the head of Corden. Tabe flicks it along. Arujo rises up. Shahida out wide to Granfers. And Granfers trips over the ball, but able to maintain it. Has some great ball skill there, but one ball roll too many. And he'll win his team a throw-in. And thinking about going short, but instead they'll elect to, to go long. The throw from Shahida, headed away by Ramos, comes out to Arujo. Arujo dispossessed, and now Greater New Bedford will take over. A good job there by Cornelio, who's been an absolute rock at the back. Far side throwing here for Greater New Bedford. Gutierrez throw goes all the way far down. And Shahida launches that one almost straight up in the air. And then gets rid of it now once again. Roby heads that down into the ground and then gets rid towards Sindo. Shahida looks to settle it. And he'll get on the ball. As he turns outside. He'll have one from distance. And easily into the hands as that one rolled along the ground and picked up by Whitson. As he was looking to catch the goalie off guard. Roby with a good tackle. Now Arujo trying to play through Shahida. And that one's going to go back to the keeper. Unintentional from Grusht. And so Whitson able to collect. I want to miss kick as Montalto jumps on top of it. Tabe is dispossessed. And now the Bears take over on the far side. As it's down the line now. And it's Trinidad as he lays the ball off. It's now Tabe to Arujo. 
He just lets that one roll and gets past the defender. He tries to slot through Shahida. It's deflected away. And now Ramos. Good step by Corden into Montalto. Who is just unable to keep track of the ball there under his feet. And so it will be a throw in here. That one's going to go out once again for a Bears throw in. It's Vieira on the far side. And now they switch the field. Andrade lays it off to Suarez. It's Woodhouse defending. And steps up. The claims for a handball, and they're going to get that call. And Woodhouse will take quickly. And towards Shahida. And it'll come off to Granfers. He's got space. Granfers cuts in. As he looks to switch the field. And good luck over to Corden there. Montalto lets run as it's heading towards the goal line. And gets body position on Vieira and wins the throw in. And sub coming on in. That's going to be Keeney. He'll come on in for Granfers. And it looks like Montalto will move out to the near side left wing. Shahida with the throw. This one, a darting one. Flicked along towards Tabe and unable to get a clean connection. He'll win the ball back, though. Lays it to Woodhouse with a man on, and they'll win a throw in here. And towards Roby, who makes a good run. Looking for options, he has Arujo. Arujo trying to cut in as it's kept in. Woodhouse playing one towards the middle. Taken down by Shahida. It's Roby. He's got Corden. Corden plays the one-time ball in, and Whitson's going to keep that one into the chest. And the Bears can push up the field. It's a Rougeau. And now taken over. Has a good touch there by Trinidad. As he's on the far side looking for someone in the middle. Takes a deflection off Cornelio. And a corner kick one here. So just waiting to get a ball now, and Ramos has got it. As I think all previous corners from him have been on the opposing side, so now an in-swinger here as he gives a signal. Ball in. Flicked along to the back post. Tabe trying to get rid. No one able to, and a good block there by Cornelio. Woodhouse pokes it out. And so now a throw in here. Throw in towards the box. That one looked like it traveled out and it did. Otherwise there was a wide open Ramos there. So a goal kick here for the Panthers. Shahida gets a touch. Keeney settles it in the gut and kicked out. And it'll be a throw in here for the Panthers. As 
as taken down on the far side. As pushing along and stood up there. Good job again by Cornelio. Ball rifled cross field. Woodhouse steps up. Ramos is still there. He takes a shot. Oh my. That was a beautiful strike. Just always traveling up though and over the top left corner as he found the space. But luckily for the Panthers, it's a goal kick. Uh, it looks like Montalto coming out. Granfer's coming back in for the Panthers. 26-06 left to go in the second half. Now Alex Shahida who has the game-tying goal. That one happened just under two minutes into the second half. Tabe picks it up in the midfield and looks to switch to Granfer's. He's got Corden on the overlap and still maintains the ball as it falls back to Roby. Roby now plays it out to Tabe. Tabe to Arujo. Arujo's got space. As he looks to go down the line, and he will. He's on the left foot and just a touch too much. And that looked like a dangerous play, and that will be the call as the foot from Ramos came up near the head of Woodhouse. And Cornelio, once again, will step over this one. Cornelio. As they load up in the far, that one swinging in towards goal, and Whitson, unable to know where his goal was at a safety, just flicked it away. As that one kept curling and curling, it would have gone wide, but I don't think Whitson was aware of where the goal was, so he just played it safe. And, uh, Panthers will get a corner, and it'll be Arujo who will take this one. Arujo's ball in towards the back post. Shahida flicks it back. It's at the feet, and it's in the back of the net! Andrew Branford puts it in off the feed from Shahida, and the Panthers take a 2-1 lead. So the ball in from Arujo fell to Shahida at the back post who flicked it across. And then Gransfers was there to scuffle it away into the back of the net. 24-17 left to go as it looks like the keeper for Greater New Bedford Bears is a little shucking up, shucking up there. Whitson might have got a kick to the hand. And just in a little pain. It looks like he'll be able to tough this one out. And as of right now, Granfers, he has the go-ahead goal. As I think the argument from Greater New Bedford that they're trying to have, which I was unsure at the time, was whether or not Whitson had a hand on the ball. So the rules are that if he has the ball on the ground and he has his hand on top of it, it is the goalie's possession. But I do think it was loose, and that's what the ref is ruling there. So the goal is good from Granfers, and the Panthers are now leading 2-1. to one. And Polney will let that one settle at his feet as he'll make... Trinidad come over and force him to pick up the ball. The key here for the Panthers, though, still a little over half of the second half to go at 24 minutes. You can't be settling and you can't just be booting the ball away. You got to try and go and get that third one, and that's exactly what they're doing. It's Granfers, and he wins his team a throw in. It is vitally important to get that second goal because the last thing you want to happen. It's what happened in the first half, and then get a penalty and score, and then it's a tied game or a weird deflection or whatever should happen. So getting an insurance goal would be huge here for the Panthers. It's Shahida to take the throw. That one's headed away. Corden, he's looking for Shahida, but they weren't on the same wavelength. 
And so it'll be a throw in for Greater New Bedford. And an illegal throw, a rare thing to see at the high school level, but didn't come all the way from behind the head. So Shahida once again will have a chance for the long throw deep in the attacking third. The ball launched in, and that's going to come off the head there, Moreno. And trying to get rid, but unable to do so, Roby gets the initial touch. And poked and still battling. And now a call against the Panthers. And so Greater New Bedford will get a kick coming out. That ball in the air and gets past a couple of heads. Ramos gets the first touch. Roby tries to help it along out. And a couple Bears win that one in the air. And it's now Trinidad and Cornelio with a good stick up. That ball floating towards the back post. It's Botello there. Granfer is looking to deal with it. As Botello pushes straight into it, but no call as Granfer's will go through and it'll be a throw in. As Woodhouse tries to keep that in. And it'll go on out. Now, I've seen shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder play, but I don't think you can run into someone like that. As Ramos will hold it all the way. Polney coming out. It's off his knee. Chases and falls on top of it. A good job there. Sticking with it there was Polney. As he manages to get the ball. He'll give a boot to that one. And that one comes off the head of Greater New Bedford. And now flipped in. And Shahida takes over. Out to Granfers. Looking for Keeney, unable to find it. And Woodhouse will go down as he was wrapped around the back, but no call. And Ramos, he'll shoot towards the back post. And that one will sail up and over and out for a goal kick. Triple substitution from Greater New Bedford, and the Panthers will sub one. It'll be Tabe coming in for Roby. 20, 26 left to go in the game. The Panthers with two goals in the second half. First, it was Alex Shahida, and then it was Andrew Granfers. So that's how we are where we are now. As we've seen a little more out of New Bedford, a little more attacking effort from them in the second half. And we did in the first is now they're really going to be pushing for a goal. Cornelio sticking up. And that one will be taken on now and it'll be a goal kick here for Holliston. Pushed in the back and they'll get the call finally. And the Panthers will get a free kick right around midfield. And we'll see if they take it quick. And they will. It'll go to Arujo. He cuts in. As he dances around another. He's going to think shot. Takes a deflection. Granfers is over that one. And it's over the net. And it'll be a goal kick here for Greater New Bedford. And Granfers wins the initial header on the goal kick. As it's Sindo, he chips it over. Shahida's there to chest it down as he looks to settle the ball. Now Arujo, good little skill there. And stuck up once again there by Sindo. As Woodhouse lets it travel, Trinidad's there and it's going to come off of him. And no, it's going to be a Bears throw in. As 
Alvarez in the midfield looking to take it down. Put over the top towards Ramos, but headed away by Woodhouse. Granfers is going to try and get rid of it, but it's going to fall down towards Ramos. And still in. And now into the midfield. And dropped off. As he's going to play a ball in, headed along and just wide. As at the back post there was Trinidad. A dangerous ball played in by Ramos as Panthers Shahida will come out, Roby in. The Bears are certainly knocking on the door with a lot of great opportunities. 17-22 left to go in the game. Roby flicks up towards Keeney who plays to Montalto. Does he have the pace to keep it in? He does not. That ball just a little too much pace behind it. And the Bears will take over with a throw in on the far side. As that one's launched down the line towards Trinidad. And two Panthers converging on the ball. And they'll win a throw in on the far side. Want to give a quick shout out to the girls' soccer team, which also will be playing today. And they'll be out in Mansfield at 5.30 for their matchup in the round of 32. So if you get the chance, make sure to go check them out. 5.30 out in Mansfield. And as they're the number 27 seed going up against the number 6 seed. As now a kick here for Greater New Bedford. As... Just waiting for everyone to get up. They'll play it short. As he drops the shoulder. And... The advantage was being played. So now, Bears with a dangerous free kick. Ball in. Cornelio heads that one away. As looking to play it back in, but Ethan Shahida's there. Tabe finally able to get it a little farther out. Sindo will sail one, and that one will be let to travel all the way out for a goal kick. Bears will make a sub. Looks like that's Pacheco coming out. Can't quite make out who came in on the far side. Woodhouse to take the goal kick. So that one's sailing and hits off of Keeney, but picked up now. Ethan Shahida with the tackle, but now it's Suarez moving up. He gets past one. And another, Granfers is there trying his best and a good job there holding him off and Cornelio sweeping and cleaning things up. Sindo's going to take it quick as he drops it into Andrade. Andrade will switch it across the field. They'll look to play a ball in and Polney is going to catch that one. Polney gives this one a good boot high up. One there by Sindo. Corden steps up, and that's going to be a throw in here for the Panthers. As Shahida will come in, Keeney will come on out, and Ethan Shahida will take the throw on the far side. 13 36 left to go in this first half, or excuse me, in this game. As Bears trying to push it up, but a good tackle there by Tabe. And Arujo.
I believe is who's going to get the call and the foul. And so a kick here for Greater New Bedford. Tabe gets on the end of that one. And now Suarez with Granfer shielding him off. Shahida. Roby battling and Shahida just gets it out. Ball played on the far side. It's Andrade, or excuse me, that was Trinidad looking for goal, but that one's always sailing over the net. And the Panthers will be able to settle things down. Ball taken in one in the air. Tabe tracking back. It's Ramos. He shoots and easily into the hands of Pulney. Pulney will give this one a boot. And Montalto. He looks for Shahida, but taken away there by Vieira. And now laid back and cleared away. Off the chest of Shahida, headed down. As Granfers races and wins that race, and Woodhouse will get rid of it. And Shahida, he holds off, and now he breaks free. He looks to slot through to Arujo. Arujo on his left, and just unable to get clean contact. As it looked like he just sweeped the right side of the ball there. And so 2-1 remains the score. As a goal kick taken short and Vieira will launch this one up. A uh, good back heel there by Roby. Vieira pushes and he's stuck up by Montalto. Montalto to Arujo. And taken away once again. And that one's going to trickle along and out for a throw in. This is obviously the 16 versus 17 seed here. The winner of this game will go on and face the winner of Oakmont Regional and Auburn, which are the 1 in 33 seed. That game is going to take place on Monday at 6 o'clock, meaning that the next game between one of these two teams likely wouldn't be until Wednesday would be my assumption. I don't think they'd make one of those teams play back-to-back. -back. Ten minutes left to go in the game. Panthers still clinging on to the 2-1 lead. It's Granfers. He's the one with the game-winning goal as if things stand. It's Granfers still on the ball as he goes around and just unable to get any options open as a couple of bears step up on him and Tabe will take out the legs. And taken quickly there, laid off to Paiva. Tabe steps up. He's got some space if he can beat with pace. And a clean challenge. He'll keep running through it. And a good effort there by Tabe. Tabe sticking with it. And now Montalto. Montalto lays it to Tabe. Who lays it to Roby. Roby back to Woodhouse. Ball from Woodhouse. Now it's Roby. And no call again. It looked like a push in the back, but the Panthers will play on. And out Suarez. Who stops up from the ball. And a good tackle there by Granfers. As the minutes are trickling on down and taking quickly. 
As now Suarez tries to get around Grand first, he'll just kick that one down all the way towards the corner. The Panthers will regroup. And they'll play it short. Panthers look to have dropped a couple men back and now just trying to hold on to the lead here. As Montalto pushes up, he's got space. And they just kick it away. And that ball is traveling, and Shahida will flick it away, and it'll be out for a corner. And it looks like Greater New Bedford, they're desperate. They're sending all but one up into the box. So it'll just be Montalto and Sindo high for both teams right around the center circle. Ramos to take the goal kick. Or, excuse me, corner kick. Ball flipped in. It goes through everyone and travels all the way to the far side. And taken away. There's Granfers again as advantage is played. It's Montalto. He's got Shahida streaking up beside him. Shahida pushes up the field as he keeps going and gets past. He looks for the ball in the middle, and that's headed away by Vieira. And now the Bears will look to push up. It's laid off there to Paiva. And good job there by Roby sticking up Trinidad. And he'll just kick that one up towards the corner. As Shahida, Alex Shahida, that is, with both hands on his knees as he recovers from that long run. Almost looking like a 6-3-1 to some sorts from the Panthers here as they're just sitting back. And Cornelio gets that one. And Roby wins it. It's Arujo. He goes out wide. As Arujo's out now. Ball is laid off. And now sizzled on in. And Montalto's going to get called on a foul there. Not quite sure what it was. Looked like he was saying he was cut out underneath him, but I don't really think he moved at all. Ramos pushing up the far side. He crosses the ball in and held up there by Polney. As we're reaching five minutes left to go. That one just sailed away, but no Panther high there. As now Arujo takes it down. As he lays it out wide to Corden. Corden's ball to Montalto, who's all alone and just unable to settle it down there. And so now they'll get rid. Roby will just kick that one out of bounds as we've reached five minutes to go. And we'll keep our unofficial clock as that one goes all the way into Polney and he'll fall on top of it. Of course, the refs have the official time down there and stop in whatever added time they feel necessary. Headed over by... Whooshed, and that one's going to travel on out. And looks like the Panthers going to take a timeout and have some discussions just of how to keep this one at hand. We're looking at about four and a half left to go in the game. Panthers leading 2-1. We'll be right back.
we get ready to begin once again. It'll be a Panthers throwing on the far side. As about four and a half minutes is our unofficial time here left in the game. And a foul call and New Bedford, Greater New Bedford will take over with a free kick. As they look to go cross field, Tabe wins out that one as he's going to race to win it. He's got a man on his back. Tabe's got the energy to go down, and he's just going to win a throw-in, and that'll just kill some more time. It'll be Ethan Shahida to take the throw. We'll see if they elect to go long here and go to the corner towards Montalto. He'll look to hold for as long as possible, and nothing called there. And Suarez gets around Woodhouse as the ball over the top. It's heading towards Polney, and he's going to let as much time go down as possible. And then he'll pick it up. Just a little over three minutes unofficially left to go as that one bounces. Tabe pokes it up in the air. And that one traveling and bouncing and Ramos gets ahead to it. Cornelio. As he'll just let it go out for a throw in. That one's going to be all the way down by the corner as all but one man high for the Bears. We'll see what type of long throw they've got as here it is into the box headed by Cornelio. Chested down the shot and that one's going to go wide and it'll be a goal kick here for the Panthers as maybe about two and a half to go. A player down for the Bears. And the clock will be stopped as we'll take a quick step away as the Bears player is down. About two and a half left to go in the half. So it looks like he was able to get off on his own will. I think two minutes is the call for how much time is left as the ref holds up two as they were both discussing how much time and we'll start it now. Two minutes to go in this game. The Panthers hanging on to a 2-1 lead. It's out. That will be a throw in here for the Bears. Suarez dispossessed by Woodhouse. As that ball, that's going to come off of, and they'll say it took off, touch off Montalto as they'll play it back, and now looking to launch one in. Shahida gets an initial touch to it. Arujo pushing up. Corden gets the touch. And Arujo going down the wing. He's got Montalto in the middle. It's Arujo towards Montalto, and that one's behind him, and so unable to get anything going there. A loose ball. Roby's there, keeping the pressure up. As we're looking, about a minute left to go in the game. Granfers will settle that, and he'll probably push it towards the corner, towards Montalto. And he gets bodied, and he'll get the call here. A chance for the Panthers to, to let some time trickle off the clock. As we're looking, maybe about 45 seconds left to go. And it looks like the clock has now been stopped by the official. As the Panthers are probably trying to get as much time off the clock as they possibly can. And Cornelio has Tabe short, and you would think they're probably going to go short here and then try and go towards the corner. And they will. It'll be Tabe on his own. We'll see how long he can hold the ball. 
And it's going to be a throw-in for the Bears. Or no, it's on the ground is the call. So a better chance to kick it as far as they can. And that's the end of the game, and the Panthers come away with a victory. After trailing by a goal, they come out second half with a goal with two minutes left to go, or two minutes through. And then it's Andrew Granfors with 24-17 left to go. And gets the game-winning goal, and the Panthers will move on. And they'll face the winner of Oakmont Regional and Auburn. That's coming up on Monday. So that does it for the final score here. The Halls and Panthers 2 and Greater New Bedford Bears 1.